Well, all right. Welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. And uh, let me be the first to uh, <laughs> say thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for listening. Oh, yeah. Okay, then I'll be the second. I I'll be the second. Jan- I-, I don't mind falling in line. <laughs> there thanks. You go. Getting I'm- in line. What do people do? They get in lines. Yeah. Me? There you go. Lines. Thanks for doing that. All right. I'll so, so thanks for uh, being with us. This is the Midwest Sports Show, and this is a. If you like Midwest sports, Gene. Yes. Or if you're from the Midwest, right? This podcast is for you. You you don't talk about Tampa Bay. Uh, no, Gene. We're not going to talk about the the Devil Rays. <laughs> what about what about the uh, Alabama and the Crimson and, Tide? Yeah, the Crimson Tide and Clemson. Gene. Gene, can you yeah. can you imagine having a uh, a population that's so a fan base that's so stupid Uh-oh. you have to change the name because of the word devil? Oh right, right, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're very sensitive these days. This been it's not these days. It's been going on for a long time. Do you think it'll ever change? What about in the seventies? Wasn't it or eighties? Well, did they or- change the pilots? Because everyone was like, not everyone's a pilot. Yeah. Right? That's why they had to move? Mm-hmm. Uh, is that how stupid we are, Gene? Right. Pretty All right. Stupid. Well, Gene, <laughs> it's, uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show, and my name is uh, Chris Tots, and then uh, that's Gene Steichen. And I'm, I'm, and I'm, I, I, I'm doing this as the Cubs are getting their uh, asses re- re- handed kick? to them. It's, it'll be their last day in first place, so they should have fl- fl- fell out of first place long ago the way they've been going. But it's been a rough – This, you know what? I'll tell you something, which I, I I'm borrowing. It's the Cubs' first losing month since uh, sometime in 2017. Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? A couple of years now, two years. Yeah, yeah. A losing month, June. They just went uh, had a losing month. Oh yikes! Please get it. I keep and then I go after they lose. I go. Oh, I can't watch anymore. I need a break. And then I the next day I'm that, like, you're, well, you're, maybe today's the day. You're maybe right back in. maybe today's the day. It all starts turning around, and then they'll win, and then they'll lose again. And I'm like, oh, maybe Gene, it the only thing you need is uh, Harry Carey and Ryan Sandberg. There we go. 1984. And we're, we're back in the uh, yeah. The the, the no, nah, I'm talking about 87. Gene. Oh. When, when they went like sixty and whatever, no. Oh right. When, when they would right. go like uh, seventy and ninety, every single year. Yeah, whatever. that well, that was all of the seventies and most of the eighties, except for eighty four when they had a really good year. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. All right. Well, Gene, you know, we'll talk a little bit about baseball later. Okay. And by the way, Gene. Yes. Uh, people are telling me uh, too much baseball. Okay, I see. Too much baseball on right. the podcast. Right. Right. And to them, I say, well, what else are we going to talk about? Oh, I see. What well, else women, is going on? Oh. Uh, World Cup tomorrow, England and United States. I watched the England France game. I watched the whole thing. So there you go. Uh, who won? United States. We're in the oh, semifinals. Okay. I didn't have the sound on, but I had it on in the background. And tomorrow, uh, United States plays England, and I love England. So, but I got, I'm I'm rooting for our country, of course. But. I, I, I like England a lot. They're 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 seems like our neighbors. I heard I heard Wayne Rooney's sister oh. is gonna be playing. Do you know who Wayne Rooney is? Yeah, he plays for Washington. He yeah. plays in the MLS. He used to be a legend over in the yeah. EPL. And then we, he came over here like a lot of those old guys just like, make money. Just like Beckham. Yeah. We, we we get England's old ass trash. Right. Old we'll, white trash. We'll get Ronaldo someday, but not not quite yet. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe well, Messi. Gene, I heard the the Seattle Sounders uh, signed Pele. Oh boy! <laughs> Remember, he came over. He that, that, that would make a league. change. He played for a New York franchise. He played for a league, and then the league folded. Yeah. So, wah, wah. Well, Gene, when your star player is forty four, I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Tom Brady. Yeah. Not exactly. Pele is not exactly Tom Brady. Pele is yeah. not walking through that door. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, well, too much baseball, but okay. uh, again, nothing else is going on, and uh, mm. so we will be talking about baseball, and we got some uh, little NFL yeah. news, Oh, so that should be fun. Okay. And then, uh, Gene, we also have uh, some hoops. Yeah. We, hey, what, some what off-season happened? hoops Was going it on. only for sure, 2015 when the Royals were good, speaking of baseball? They're in the Midwest, and what the heck happened? They look like a young, up-and-coming team. And woof, it's tough. It's hard being a fan. That's my point. It's hard being a fan. <laughs> well, I, you can be a fan of the Brewers because uh, yeah, Brewers the stock is saying they got uh, Kane. 
Who? Uh, Lorenzo Cain. Perhaps oh. you've heard of him. All right. Well, Gene, we might as well just get right into baseball. Oh, okay. What with Lorenzo Cain? And we're just going to do uh yeah, he played for the, uh, he was the uh, NLCS, no, ALCS oh. MVP, like whenever they won the uh, World Series, I think in 2014. Okay. Uh, but Gene, you know it's yeah. uh, we're talking about the NL, so we'll just do a quick update here. Okay, what's your update? Uh, I think all the teams are pretty much struggling. Uh, yeah, the right Central's now. been. I mean, because the Dodgers aren't. They're they're great. They're ki- crushing it. They're like and 10, then, 10 and a half games up. Yeah, and then the from their at, and then Atlanta is twenty three games over five hundred or something crazy. They're way. I think uh, I'm not sure. Maybe not that many, but they're doing pretty well. And then the Central, they're just beating each other up. Yeah, the that's best the best on. division in baseball, Gene, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and uh, I hope so. But the problem is, if you beat each other <laughs> up, maybe only one team is going to the dance. It's like it's like it's, like it's like the it's like the Democratic primaries, right? Yeah. If you guys kill each other in the first and round, that's right. So there may may maybe no wild card for you. It's gonna be no Trump for you, boys. Yeah. Did you watch a debate? I uh, no, I, I don't I watch did it. Not. I, I didn't don't watch see it. it. Um, all right, so yeah, the Dodgers are 12 games ahead of the Colorado Rockies, wow. so that's quite a bit. Um, here are the uh, the last 10 records for Chicago Cubs, four and six, Milwaukee, five and five, St. Louis, four and six, and they lost like seven yeah. in a row or something like that. Yeah, a tough. Goal. Uh, Pittsburgh, seven and three, because they're they they won, I guess, one against the Brewers, and I guess a couple against some other team, and then uh, Cincinnati's five and five, but they're uh, they're rushing. And yeah. uh, five and a half games out, Cincinnati, the last place. So uh, it's a tight, tight it's, division. Gene. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, I don't. I was gonna say something about. Uh, I won't. You, when you can fit a quarter in whatever, or nickel, you know. In uh, Rollis Chapman's ass. Yeah, or let's what? go with that. Yep, yep. That's all right. exactly. It. <laughs> all right, Gene. Uh, all right. <laughs> Last time I asked you to produce. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, he's more concerned about the uh, the baseball games. No, I'm not. I'm I'm all here, but I'm just I'm concerned about the Cubs' mental well being. That's yep. all. All right. Well, Gene, you know what wasn't good for anyone's well being? Yeah. And isn't is uh, watching Yasiel Puig? Oh my gosh! I play. watched that game. What is wrong with him? And I'll tell you what, Gene. Uh, I I didn't realize we would be talking about Puig every single goddamn wow. week. Uh, on the show when he moved over to the uh, Cincinnati Reds. And I'll tell you, can we? Uh, this guy is a drama queen. Yeah. He, yeah. he loves the attention. He loves uh, causing stuff up, causing shit up. I think there's actually two incidences this weekend. Yeah. But well, mm-hmm. what was the first one? Well, I the only one I can think of was he got hit by a pitch, but – I think Wasn't there one ball. earlier where like he uh, he was arguing balls and strikes or whatever? Yeah, he got thrown probably. out the game before. Mm. Anyway, so it was uh, you know the Cubs were and what was the deal? There was one guy in second. Yeah, and right. The Cubs... It was three zero. Right, the Reds right. were up. Yeah, and I think they they're walking Puig. And I I don't know it wasn't clear if it was an intentional walk. Maybe they're just trying to get him to no, swing. It, yeah, but it was. He was throwing of... like basically like stuff in the dirt. Yeah, basically a walk. And then after the third pitch. Puig, uh, the diva. And listen, Gene, I don't want to sound like old uh, white man Wisconsin here. Okay, well, why don't you? Uh, but I mean, uh, Puig, Puig, after the third pitch, you know, he really wanted something to hit. Yeah. Pad his stats. Uh, you know, kind of got over the batter box, kind of walked oh, around. Lollygagging, Gene. Yeah. Remember uh, Bull yeah. Durham? Oh, yeah. No lollygagging. Oh, I, yeah, of course. I'll take your word for it. No lollygagging. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. That was uh, uh, Pedro's stroke. That and did. then on the net, you know, the pitcher, and actually there's a pretty good breakdown of this. Uh, this one guy who uh, does these pretty funny breakdowns. Oh, what's going on here? Mm. All right. So, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, and then on the on the on the fourth pitch, right? Puig right. put the you know the the bat on his hand, you know, on his shoulder, and all that stuff. And even the catcher was kind of getting fed up with it. And then you, there's a signal he gave to Strope. I mean, let's just hit this guy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Strope, you know, he wasn't throwing pretty hard, but hit him on the hips. Yeah. Right. And Strope was pretty much, uh, oh, you you want to get on base? I'll, I'll, I'll let you get on base. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll let you take a walk. Right, right. 
And uh, by the way, Strope, you know, let's not pretend Strope is innocent here. Yeah, Strope is I don't know. What's more annoying, uh, Puig's antics or yeah. Strope's hat? I every time Strope gets, every time he gives up, every time uh, something bad happens, I get mad at him about that. I should yeah. let it go, but yeah, it annoys me too. Yeah, and then and then after that, he walked out to the mound. Strope walked hard to him, and nothing happened. But there was a lot of barking going on. Yeah. Joey Votto had to pull uh, Puig away. Yeah, and geez, Puig, that was and, that that was awful. What he, the way he was behaving. And by the way, how how many times? I mean, you know, how many times is the boy gonna cry wolf? Yeah, before wolf. the teammates stop coming out of the bench. Yeah. and then and then I love this. If you notice, in between innings, they showed Puig went into the bullpen and he was talking to the pitchers in there. <laughs> The so Chicago it, bullpen or the no, Cincinnati? No, the Cincinnati. Oh, God. Probably telling them to hit that. Cincinnati <laughs> didn't hit them because they were they, – they needed – I think the Cubs were up by one run maybe. No, it was 3-0, three, oh, wasn't it? Oh, was the, it? The Cubs it won three, that oh. game 4-3, to three, I believe. Uh, no, the yeah, Reds. Yeah, that was the game the Cubs won. Okay. All right, game. Wrong. Yeah. Because um, uh, Javi had a home run. But he was in there talking, and they're like, hey, I don't want to I don't want to get thrown out. The pitchers are like, if I go out there and hit somebody, I'm getting thrown out yeah. and maybe suspended. So no thanks. Well, Preak was probably like, uh, don't worry, I'll pay for your suspension. Right, right. Because so he makes no, way the, more money than any the of those Cincinnati relievers. The Cincinnati pitchers, they, they didn't listen to him. Well, they, and then he, someone did get hit later on. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, but, the next day, I think Chris Bryant got hit. No, it was that. I think it was later in that game. I think someone got it. I think Rizzo actually maybe got. No. Oh, he could have. Someone got it. All those losses are starting to blur together. <laughs> yeah, all these games. It's tough yeah. when they play every single day. But he really but goes he was... out of his way to cause trouble. I'll tell you that. Yep. I'm glad he's not on the Cubs or the Brewers because I like the Brewers. I just don't want him to win the division. But yep. if they do win the division, I hope they win the World Series. There, I said it. All right. Okay. Prager Stroop. Stroop. Stroke. Was confused as to why Yasiel yeah. Puig got angry. It's no secret he's stupid. Yeah. He's stupid as shit. He, well, no, this is, says expletive, so it's either stupid as shit or stupid as fuck. He said F. F. Okay, stupid yeah. as fuck. Nothing against him. He's just stupid. I, I, I dead spin ran uh, ex- excerpt. Yeah. Right. No, nothing just... against him. He's just stupid. Well, it's not his problem. He's just dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that seems like uh, that seems kind of the consensus is. I mean, he's didn't, just the, dumb. didn't this happen to the Dodgers? They kind of got sick of him. Yeah, that's why he's playing in Cincinnati. <laughs> I mean, he was supposed to be this all time like maybe great, like, w- like like a new Willie Mays. Yeah, exactly. Like Willie yeah, Mays on only steroids. Thing he distinguished himself was getting his house broken into because he. Well, I, hey, hey, say hey, Gene. Yeah. Say hey, get the fuck out of here. Right. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Say hey, kid, get Lee leave. Yeah. Go home. You're out. You're ejected. How about that? Yes. All right. Exactly. There you go. All right. So anything else, Jen? The Cubs are struggling. The Brewers are struggling. It's uh, I, I, the Cubs. Oh, Kimbrough played. It's so it's, he's on the team now. But did he, how did he play? How did he, he pitch? he's only pitched one inning. He got a save, but he he can't pitch if you're losing all the time. But yeah, <laughs> I I'm being a good fan. I'm not I'm not being on Twitter. People on Twitter are like, oh, the Cubs suck. All this. I'm. I'm saying, well, I they they know more than I do. I hope they figure it out. You got That's all. you're doing the original Twitter, and you're saying it inside your brain, screaming yeah. as loud I, as you I get, can. I get frustrated, but then I'm thinking, no, I just I I hope they figure it out. Theo knows what he's doing. I hope so. We'll see. Yeah, hey, it could be a good race in the second half. Yeah, bunch yeah. of. Yeah, because one of the, uh, these teams aren't going to be in the wild card. That's for sure. I don't think so. Not the uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, Kimbrel. You, you can't get a save if you already lost the game, yeah. J- Joe. And you, you're talking about Joe. Oh, my God. Joe, uh, Joe. speaking about the Devil Rays, he's already got his bags packed. Yeah. Back this, to Tampa. This, he, I, or Montreal. Okay. Let's just say he got his passport I, yeah. renewed. He'll be, he'll be managing next year for sure yeah. if he wants to. But hopefully with the Cubs. The Cubs don't do anything. Well, uh, Gene, you're trying, you're, you're trying to get him out of the – Oh, Wrigley, Wrigleyville. I want him. Hey, he, he got his a, eviction notice. He, hey, he picked a bad time to open a restaurant. He opened a restaurant <laughs> on Wrigley Field grounds, right outside the the stadium. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if there's ever a good time to open a restaurant. I think if you're opening a restaurant, you made a mistake. You made a huge mistake. So, are Cubs mm-hmm. coming back here? 
Uh, uh, I, that, I'm Jason Hayward? To, I mean, yeah, uh, but they got the guy going out there. No, I'm trying to concentrate on what we're doing. I'm not being distracted. Right. Yeah. Well, Gene, we're going to move over to okay. the uh, NFL. Not not a lot going on, Gene. It's, uh, mm. it's summertime, hey, uh, by the way. Hey, training camp starts pretty soon, though. What about the Bears kickers? And here's another thing. <laughs> the Bears Packers opening night, September 5th, which I'm going to go to. That might cost a lot of money. So, oh, please. Ticket prices drop. The two things that are really expensive right now in my life that I'm looking at are Madonna tickets and uh, opening night NFL. And I'd like to All see right. both of them. Well, Gene, you know how you can recoup some of that money? Wow. Ma- make a bet on Mitchell Trubisky. Oh. Because oh, the MVP yeah. odds. Yeah, that's right. The MVP odds were released this week at the Westgate Superbook in Las Vegas, a proud sponsor mm. of this podcast, by the way. Go oh, ahead. Nice. Go ahead and bet. Yeah. Oh, Illinois is legal betting now. Although it's not, it's not, it's not legal yet. Kristen Herrera. Herrera. Yeah. Oh, see, the, the birds know. and the cubs are both playing. Uh, it, it, you can't bet yet, but you'll be able to bet soon in Illinois. How's Wisconsin doing on marijuana and uh, gambling? They're a little behind, Gene. Are they? We, yeah, uh, what's wrong with them? Everyone's hunting, Gene. Everyone's oh, got uh, right. wasting deer disease or wasting yeah. brown, deer brown disease. I don't yeah. know what it is. All right, but Gene, the uh, the odds for Trubisky to be MVP, he just t- just take a guess. I think what I do they know. open up? I think I know. Uh, what do they open up as? Uh, uh, let me see, thirty to one. Oh, two hundred to one. Oh boy, because I thought because the Bears are kind of a Super Bowl contender, and if they go to the Super Bowl, it's probably Trubisky was pretty good. Well. Oh, I didn't know it was 200 and Well, with oh, it, I'm wrong. those are, I mean, you know, if you think he's going to have a pretty good season and yeah. Matt Nagy mm-hmm. uh, not going to be able to go for field goals. Right. I, you, I, I can picture uh, Trubisky having like, you know, yeah. 15 rushing TDs and maybe 20 he passing. He, he was pretty good last year. Hey, why were we in Cincinnati, by not the way? way too much. The Reds are in Milwaukee. No, we're in that's, uh, that's a. Oh, I thought that was the outfield for Cincinnati. They're playing in Cincinnati, so it fits. Oh, they are. No, they're playing in. Oh, they no, are in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, we have okay. the backdrop of a uh, River oh. Queen uh, yeah. gambling boat. But that's what their outfield is. It's part. Uh, their outfield is made of a uh, uh, boat. Yeah, Mississippi River boat. Yeah. Yeah. So we're pretty in cool. I've been. To, I've been to, uh, three games at Cincinnati. Pretty nice. It's mostly Cub fans when I'm there. All right. There. So, anyways, so they opened up a two hundred one. But those are such good odds, and I want to mean like good odds, like right. a good chance. It's just that if you put a you know two hundred to one, that's uh you know that's that's you can win a lot of money right there. But then they fell down to fifty mm. to one. Okay, so that's more in line. Two days to within one. two days, all right. the bets you come in. Mm. And uh, let me tell you, Gene. Yes. That might be the most points Trubisky covers all season. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have faith in them? <laughs> the Bears, they can't. How can they win if they, if he's not good? He was okay last year. It wasn't let's just, great, let's but just he say, was okay. Let's just say I got, I got a new name Yeah. for Mr. Trib- Re- Regression Mitch. <laughs> wow. Regression Mitch Mitchell. Well, their their expectations are high, and he's a big reason. So, uh, come on, Mitch. Play well. I, I want him to win the Super Bowl at the <laughs> at Packers camp. Wow. Okay. All right. And Gene, our uh, you know you know it's a slow oh week. Oh my gosh! When our final story is about Don, like Don Nelson, yeah. So uh, Donnie Nelson, Don Nelson, long time. Uh, well, I'm yeah, say NBA he's player. A long, you coach. know he played at Iowa. Yeah, I did actually when I was looking him up. He played at Iowa. He went to uh, school in Rock Island or Rock something. He, I think Rock Island. Oh, could have been, but he played at University of Iowa. He right. was on the team that finished second. Uh, at back in like '56. I, yeah, something like that. It's before but, they let black people play in the yeah, NCAA tournament. Yeah, then I think yeah. he played in Boston as a pro, and then well, he's played a lot. I think he played for Milwaukee, and he, he yeah. played for the Lakers. He was I think, a really good. He was a really good coach. His coach. Well, he uh, kind of came up with this, uh, you know, run, just run, run, run. He was kind yeah, of a yeah. He was way ahead of his of time. It. He did run TMC, didn't he? Yep. Well, I guess so. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Don Nelson, mm-hmm. he was at the uh, the finals. You know, because he used to coach the Warriors, the NBA Finals. And the answer, the, he was asked, what are you up to these days? Mm. Uh, and apparently he's growing weed in Maui. There you go. Wowie. <laughs> the, I, uh, the answer from the ex-NBA coach who last coached for the Warriors in 2010 made everyone in the room burst out laughing. I've been smoking some pot. Yeah. He answered. 
Right. What you need is a regular uh, Tommy Chung, huh? <laughs> I love this drug humor. Right, right. Dave's not here. Do, yeah. do that one, Donnie. Yeah. Dave's not here. Uh, oh. He continued, I, uh, yeah. but I never smoked one. I played or coached, so it's new to me. Right, right, right. Sure, Don. Just yeah. Just like maybe, the triangle offense is new to you too, huh? Maybe when no, I'm seventy, he's got to be in his seventies. But maybe when I'm in his seventies, I'll, I'll never move to Hawaii. That's not. But maybe he looks know, like because I've never smoked pot once in my life, so I don't know if that. I don't anticipate that part ever. But maybe when I'm old and you know, if I have problems, he looks like if uh, Bo Bridges uh, was an NBA coach and yeah. uh, turned into he the, looks the pretty dude. Good. Yeah, and his son is still the, isn't he the GM of the Mavs? Thing? No idea, no idea. Yeah. Well, Gene, I got a, uh, uh, everyone's dying to know what kind of strains he's got, you know, because he oh, got these okay. different strains. Is it legal? It must be legal in Hawaii. Huh? I guess so. Who knows? Right. Well, or he's not welcome back. Uh, a couple of strains, Gene. Yeah. His most popular one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kareem Blue Dream Jabbar. <laughs> What else you got? Is that you, well? You, 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 funny you, thing is, Gene, that's not the original name. The original oh, name was Purple Lou Alcindor. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Purple Lou Alcindor, Gene. All right, I, I got gotcha. you. That's a good right. one. What else? Uh, what, what other? A couple other ones, are, Gene. Oh, I see. A couple other more. ones. Sure. Uh, how about how about Tok Nowitzki? Oh, good one. There you go. And Steve Hash. How about oh. that? <laughs> Yeah, because I think Steve Nash, he probably does that way, way too. He's from Canada. So. Yeah. All right, Gene, that's all, that's all the Don Nelson we jokes. Wow, I came... well, good. I, I, hey, listen, I, I, back when I was growing up, I thought, oh, if you smoke pot, there's, you're, you're something's you wrong jail. with you. Yeah, but now I'm like, whatever. I'm calling the police. Who cares? Well, I, I, I think, uh, but uh, most states, I don't know how many states are legal. I don't even think Iowa is legal. Iowa has approved gambling, though, but I don't think they've gotten on the pond bandwagon but yeah whatever people want to do as long as you're safe out there safe on the road well just yeah. don't hurt anyone else. innocent and i heard today that you're not supposed to give it to your dog right because right. they they don't like it it's not good for them not healthy well they prefer the edibles right right so uh gene you uh i guess we got some time to kill here yeah so uh what, you went to the hootie and the blowfish oh i saw oh by the way it's santana fantastic carlos wow He's got young guys in the band, but he was great. And Doobie Brothers, awesome. Hootie was fantastic. Yeah, they were great. They're back together after 10 years. And then uh, uh, I didn't know much about Bare Naked Ladies. They're from Canada, but good for them. And then uh, I saw, oh, last night was Abamania. Wow, great show. First, the gay men's cor chorus. Which I was thinking, wow, okay, I've seen them before, but they were really good. And when they when they they did YMCA and they brought out the Indian in the the whole deal, <laughs> the crowd was in a frenzy. So that was good. Well, it was Pride it, Month, right? So yeah, oh yeah, that's right. So maybe that's it. But yeah. uh, it was a great night. And then Thursday, I'm seeing fireworks there. And then uh, Chrissy Hynde Pretenders. Oh, next week, uh, Tony Bennett. Wow, yeah. Gene. Yeah, might as well 90, just uh, 92. You should just camp out in the yeah. wilderness over there. And then uh, Paul McCartney's coming back to town, but I'm I'm keeping track of tickets for that one. But yeah, and then I'm seeing. Oh, I'm going to Phantom of the Opera for the second time in two weeks on Wednesday. There you go. All right, All pretty right. cool. I love fireworks. So, did you do do you watch any? Uh, yeah, sure. Sometimes, um, I used to work at this building, Ooh. like a, it was like a 10 story building or maybe right, it was a right. 20 story or 40, whatever. And I knew the security staff pretty well. And, uh, a couple of 4th of July's I've actually gone up there and this is in K-Town, Koreatown in LA yeah. and which is basically centrally located and you can see all of the fireworks from Hollywood, uh, I guess from the Silver Lake Reservoir, uh, from Long Beach to Santa Monica to downtown. So you get to see the, uh, just fireworks exploding. All around, and by the way, all the illegal fireworks. Oh yeah, uh, in the streets and the side streets, uh, side streets, which are sometimes more uh, I know. bigger than the uh, the paid city ordinances. So, That's right, uh, and and also yeah. people firing off guns when the eyes have to remind people, uh, you're not supposed to shoot your gun on yeah. Fourth of July. Those That's bullets not come an down. What right. must what goes up must come down. But the Hollywood bulbs are a great one. Yeah, so they're gonna have fireworks there. 
Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, uh, they do a concert with the orchestra and in some band now in Chic. Chic. They're from. I think they're a '70s band. And then they do fireworks. Pretty great though. Pretty awesome. It'd be fun. Right, great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, then. in LA, has got a. Uh, they've got a solution to the homeless problem. Did you see today? They just cleared out a big encampment. They told everyone to pack up their stuff. I don't know where they're supposed to go. Yeah, so yeah, just around City Hall, because there's tents everywhere here, and uh, they just they cleared them out, and then they just. Uh, oh, I you guess, mean you mean telling people they can't stay here for free? Yeah. The, they just uh, they just came up with that. I guess brand so they, new idea. They said, pack up your tent and move down the street. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, boy. Let's just you know what we should do again. Just teach these people survival skills. Right. Show them how to use a knife and cut a uh, oh. you know like a rat. <laughs> or like a field mouse or something <laughs> like that and just, just you know drop them off in the middle of the goddamn you said to me wow you know? and wow. if they you know listen if they can't survive at least the bears get fed yeah you know? all right well i mean leo the lion how about uh you know leo the lion uh eats uh that homeless guy down the block how's that for a platform to run on jeez yeah well you know then these lions would start getting can you, know, you hear all these whales with like plastic in their mm. stomachs all of a sudden, you're gonna have all these uh, mountain lions with uh, home crack pipes, oh my in their God. stomachs. Yeah, drug addiction. Yeah. That's that's bad. It's bad. All right. It's tough. Okay. All right, Gene. Well, I think Happy uh, Fourth of July, everybody. It's, it's always a great day, and I love that it's on a Thursday this year, so everyone can take off Friday and Wednesday. Just take off the whole week. Yeah, just take off the whole month. Right. And, uh, take off the month. It's summer. A bunch of fireworks. It shouldn't so. be working. All right. Well, everyone summer. have a good Fourth of July. It's Canada Day today. Oh, it, it is. Uh, yesterday oh, when we were recording Canada. this. Oh, Canada. There are no friends. Canadians though I, on this I'm podcast. I'm a big fan. All right. Well, enjoy your Independence Day, and uh, whatnot. And uh, yeah, enjoy the All Star Game. I get no. That's next week. Right? Yeah. So. Hey, three Cubs on the All Star team. I know Brewers probably got three. Yelich and Hater, and I don't know. Uh, Cubs got two money. starters, and then Chris Bryant. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. So for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotts. Good job, Chris. And it's been, this is going to work. Uh, it went up a little bit. Oh, okay. And goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, da- Cousin David and, and all right. uh, Michael. If you so my name is Chris Stotts. That's right. Gene uh, Steichen. Cousin, uh, David and Council Bluffs. Great all city. Right, great. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. Yeah. All the cu-